Namaste. Good morning. Please sit in a comfortable position. Keep your eyes closed. Take a few deep breaths. Let's begin our session with three rounds of Omkar, followed by the starting prayer. Bring your palms together at the heart center in Namaskar Mudra. Inhale. Inhale. Starting prayer. Sahana Vavatu Sahano Bunaktu Sahavi Vyankaravahai Tejasvinavadhi Tamastuma Vidvishavahai Om Shanti 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 Release your hands, take your hands behind you, holding the right fist with the left hand, make a gentle fist with the right hand. As you inhale, take your head backwards, and as you exhale, bend forward, bring your forehead to the floor. Inhale, slowly come up, release your hands, gently open your eyes. Please come up to a standing position. Let's do a few warm up practices, starting with neck rotation. Place your hands by the side, bend your neck, bring your chin to the chest. As you inhale, turn your head from the right side, right ear touching the right shoulder, all the way back. And as you exhale, turn your head from the other side, left ear touching the left shoulder, all the way forward. Take full neck rotation and continue at your own pace. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, last round, exhale, now turn the head from the other side or in the reverse direction, inhale back, exhale forward. Well, let's start the practice. With all the fingers together, bring your fingers onto your shoulders. Bring your elbows forward, elbows touching each other. Inhale, raise your elbows up as high as you can. Expand the chest. As you exhale, bring your elbows down from the back. Inhale, raise up, reach higher. And as you exhale, take your elbows all the way back and down. Inhale, exhale, continue to your own pace. Complete rotation, feel the nice rotation at the shoulder joints. Synchronizing your bodily movement with your inhalation and exhalation. Let's do it in the opposite direction. As you inhale, take your hands all the way, expand the chest on the way up, exhale down. Continue a few rounds at your own pace.
slowly start the practice. Spread your feet about one, one and a half feet apart. <clears throat> Bring your hands at the shoulder level, palms facing down. Take a nice inhalation. As you exhale, swing your arms, take your right hand all the way back, left hand to the right shoulder. Inhale forward, exhale on the left side. Inhale forward, exhale the right, and continue at your own pace. If you feel comfortable, you can speed up. Make sure to swing your arms at the shoulder level. Slow down, slow down, slow down, stop. Place your hands on the side, let's put it in the middle part of the body. Make big circles with your belly. Five times clockwise. And five times anti-clockwise. Make sure your head is up. Only the middle part of the body is moving. Place your uh, palms on your knees, kneecaps, and make knee rotations. Outward direction. your hands on the side, bring your right foot forward, make ankle rotations. Opposite direction. Left leg. Bring your palms, the feet close to each other. Bring your palms in front of you. Inhale, slowly expand the arms all the way back. Exhale, forward. Inhale. Exhale. Continue at your own pace. Hands in and out breathing. Make sure to synchronize with your breath. So let's start the practice. Bring your hands in front of you at shoulder level, make fists, and rotate your wrists. Take Opposite direction. Flex your fingers. Slightly spread your feet. Cross your fingers in front of your chest. And slowly raise your hands up as you inhale, all the way up. Stretch them outwards. Exhale down. Inhale up. Raise up on your toes, higher. Exhale down. Inhale and raise up. Exhale down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Without raising on your toes, inhale and hold there. And as you exhale, bend towards the left side. 
without bending the knees, without bending your elbows. Inhale up, exhale, bend to the right side. Make sure the middle part of the body is not bending. You're only bending the upper part of the body. Inhale up, exhale to the left. Inhale up, exhale to the right. Continue a few rounds. Synchronizing with your breath. Exhale to the left and let's hold the posture. 10 counts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Inhale, come up. And exhale to the right. And hold again. 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, come up and exhale. Lift your hands. After the third asana stretches. Let's do some more stretches. Spread your feet about three feet apart. Bring your hands to the shoulder level. Take a nice inhalation. And as you exhale, bend forward, swing your arms, left hand to the right foot, right hand above to the sky. Inhale, inhale, come up. Exhale. And this time, swing your arm, right hand to the left foot. Left hand up to the sinus, to the sky. Inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale. Continue at your own pace for a few times. Synchronizing with your breath. So this time when we bend to the left side, we'll hold the posture, exhale, take the right hand to the left foot and left hand up to the sky and hold the posture, Parivrutta Trikona Asana. Keep breathing normally in the final posture. Stay there as long as comfortable. Let's slowly come out. Inhale, come back to the tabletop. Inhale, come up. Let's do it on the other side. Exhale, come to the tabletop. Exhale, left hand to the right foot, and right hand up to the sky. And hold the posture. Keep breathing normally. Slow, deep inhalation and exhalation. Absorb the nice twist to your back. Parivrutta Trikonasana. Inhale, come back to the tabletop. Inhale, come up to the standing position. Slowly release your hands. Bring your feet together. Relax for a moment. Next asana will do is Trikona asana practices. We'll do the warm-up plus the asana. Again, spread your feet about three feet apart. Bring your hands at the shoulder level, side, side bending. Take a nice inhalation. As you exhale, take your left hand to the left foot, right hand up. Inhale up, exhale to the right, right hand to the right foot. Inhale up, exhale to the left, 
way up, exhale to the right. Do a few times. Nice sideways stretches. The next time when you went to the left, we'll hold the posture. Inhale, exhale to the left and hold the posture. Keep breathing normally. Every time you hold the posture, keep breathing normally. Inhale, come up. Exhale, bend towards the right side and hold the posture. Look up. Inhale, come up. Exhale, release your hands and bring your feet together and relax. Hands away from your body, feet away from each other, head down and relax in standing relaxation posture. Shitala Tadasana. Slowly open your eyes. Let's do some asana practices. We'll start with some balancing postures. We'll do the Vrikshasana, the tree posture. Stand evenly, balancing your body weight evenly on both the feet. Slowly shift your body weight to the left. Bend your right leg. And guiding your right foot. Bring your right foot to the inner left thigh if you're able to. If you're not able to get this thigh, you can go below the knee. Don't place it at the knee. It's either above or below. If you don't have a lot of balance, use the support of a wall initially. And when you're ready, get into the posture. Do not press with your right foot to the left. So your left side should not go sideways, but it should be straight. Okay, You're not putting too much of pressure on your thigh. When you're ready, bring your palms together at the heart center and slowly raise both hands up. Keep breathing normally and hold the posture, absorb your breath. If comfortable, try to get nice linear stretch upwards. If you're not able to hold it for a long time, release your feet and bring it back again. Always remember, Sthira Sukhamasana. The posture, the final posture should be comfortable and stable. If you're losing balance, you can separate your palms. Separate your hands, again balance, and bring them back again. Slowly bring your hands down, release your hands, raise the right leg. Relax for a moment, and then let's repeat the asana on the other side. Starting the again, balancing both on both the feet. Slowly shift your body weight to the right leg. Bend your left leg at the knee and bring the left foot to the inner right thigh. And slowly bring your palms together at the heart center and take your hands all the way above. Give a nice stretch. Slow, deep inhalation and exhalation. Absorb your breath.
stay as long as possible, as long as comfortable. When you're ready, let's slowly come out of the posture. Slowly bring your hands down. Release your hands. Release the left leg. And relax in standing relaxation posture. Take a few deep breaths, absorbing all the changes. The next balancing posture we'll do is the Virasana three posture, the Varier three posture, or the aeroplane posture. Start from the back side of your mat. Take one foot forward with your right leg. Bring your hands at the shoulder level. When you're ready, come up onto the right foot leg and balancing on the right leg. Slowly raise your left leg. And as you do that, start bending forward. Upper body in a nice stable top. Raise the left leg up as high as you can. The whole upper body and left leg in one line. The whole body is balanced on your right leg, right foot. Hold the posture, keep breathing normally. If it feels comfortable, you can bring your hands forward. To the final posture. Use the support of a wall for balance initially. Slowly come up, bring your left leg down and release your hand. So after a short relaxation, let's repeat it on the left side. Take one foot forward with your left leg and to the shoulder level. And as you balance your body weight on your left leg, slowly start leaning forward and raising the right leg at the same time. Do it slow. And once you find your balance, stay there. Once if you feel comfortable, you can bring your hands forward. Sometimes it may be better without the mat, so whichever feels comfortable. Okay. Slowly come up and release the right leg. Relax and standing relax session posture for a few moments. The next asana we will do is the Garudasana, the eagle posture. Starting sthiti, stand firmly on both the legs, balancing your body weight on both the legs. Shift your body weight onto your left leg, slightly bend your right leg. You can take your hands to the shoulder level. 
And when you're ready, raise the right leg up, take it around the left leg, make a grip around the right, around the left leg. Bring your hands in front of you, cross your arms, bring your arms in front of your face. Into the eagle posture or Garudasana. In the final posture, keep breathing normally, observing the stretch. The pressure is on the knees. So a little, little bit. Bring the right foot far, down. Let's repeat it on the right side. Shifting the body weight on the right leg. Bend your left leg, hands at the shoulder level. Raise your left leg up. Take it around the right. Once you find the balance, bring your hands in front of you. Cross your arms and bring your palms in front of your face. Namaste. Hold the posture as long as comfortable. It's really good for knees and for focus and balance. Eagle posture, Garudasana. When you want to release, slowly bring your hands back, come up and bring your left leg down. And release your hands. Relax in standing relaxation posture. The next balancing posture we will do is the Nataraj Asana or the dancer posture. Start by taking your body weight onto your left leg, bending your right leg at the knee. Raise your right leg up, grab your right ankle with the right hand and left hand in half namaste at the chest. You can stay here. And if you have balance, bring your left hand in front of you and slowly start raising your right leg up as high as you can and look straight. Slow inhalation, exhalation in the final posture. Do it against the wall for balance. Slowly come up and release the right leg. And relax for a moment before we switch to the other side. Focus on any stationary spot in the final posture so you can get a better balance. Shifting your body weight onto the right leg. Raise the left leg up. Grab your left ankle with the left hand. Half namaste with the right hand. And when you're ready, stretch out right hand in front of you. Bending forward, slowly start pulling the left leg up into the final posture. Slowly come up, place the left leg and release the right hand. 
relax for a few moments. In the standing relaxation posture. The next posture we'll do is the Uttkatasana, the chair posture. Spread your feet about hip width apart. Inhale and raise your hands up in front of your shoulder. Raise up on your toes. And exhale. Sit as if you're sitting in a chair, as low as you can go. You can do it a few times before you hold the final posture. And hold the posture when you're ready. Make sure the knees are pointing forward. Try to go as low as you can. Make sure the head is up and back is straight. Inhale, come up. Exhale, release your hands. Let's do it again. And this time, we're not going to raise on the toes. Take your feet firmly on the floor. So we will go from here into the Malasana and into the sitting postures. Inhale, bring your hands up. And exhale, sit into the Utkatasana. Bend down further. More. More. And sit into the Malasana. Your elbows inside your thighs, knees. Slowly take your hands back. Rest your back on the floor and release the ribs. Relax in sitting relaxation posture, head back. Close your eyes and observe the changes. Slowly. Come back up. Let's do a few more sitting asanas. Let's do the butterfly posture. Bring your feet together. Grab your toes with your hands. And with the back straight, try to flap knees on both sides. Faster, raise it higher. Slightly lean forward and continue flapping. Start the practice. Now let's do the asana. So we'll do a few inhalation and exhalations into before we hold the final posture. Inhale up, exhale, bend forward. Inhale up, exhale, bend forward. Inhale, exhale, make sure the elbows are going sideways. Inhale, exhale. The next exhalation, we're going to hold the posture. Inhale up, exhale, bend forward. 
and hold the posture. Try to bring your face towards the toes. The pressure is on the thighs and the hamstring muscles. Hold the posture as long as comfortable. you to come up, it's okay. You come back into the posture again. Remember the benefit of the posture is in holding it. Getting into the posture is easy, but staying there is what we need to practice. And the more you stay, the more you do, the more flexible the muscles will be. Inhale, slowly come up. Don't rush. Slowly stretch your feet. And relax. Sitting relaxation post. The next asana we will do is uh, Gomukhasana, the cow face posture. When your right leg get the knee, right knee pointing forward. When your left leg get the knee, left knee over the right. Right foot is on the left side, left foot is on the right side. If you're not able to sit in this posture, you can sit in Vajrasana. When you're ready, slowly take your right hand back. Use your left hand to pull it up as high as you can. Use raise the left hand up as you inhale. Take your left hand behind you. Grab your right fingers with your left. And your elbow, left elbow is pointing upwards. Feel the nice expansion in the chest. Your back is straight, spine is up. You can close your eyes and take a few deep inhalation and exhalations. Gomukhasana, the cow face posture, is very good for the entire back and for the lungs. Helps expand the lungs capacity. Use the upper lobes of the lungs. In any final posture, try to take deep, slow inhalation and exhalation. If you're not able to reach your hands in the final posture, you can use the support of a towel. Slowly release the grip. Inhale, there's the left hand up. Exhale, bring it down. Slowly release your right hand. Release the left leg. And release the right leg. When you're ready, let's repeat it on the other side. Bend the left knee, left foot on the right side, left knee pointing forward. Bend your right leg, left right knee over the left, and right foot on the left side. When you're ready, take your left hand behind you, using the support of your right hand. Try to pull your left palm up as high as you can. And when you're ready, inhale, raise the right hand up. Exhale, take it behind you. Grab the left hand with the right. 
make a grip and relax in the final pass. Slow, deep inhalation, exhalation in the final posture. Try to take five to six slow, deep breaths. And ready to come out, slowly release the grip. Inhale, raise the right hand above. Slowly bring it down. Exhale, bring the left hand down. Release the right leg. And release the left leg. Relax and sitting relaxation posture. Shitila Dandasana. Absorbing all the changes. So you lie down on your back. When you're ready, let's do the bridge posture. Bring your feet close to your back as possible. Your heels as close to your low back as possible. With your hands, you can grab your ankles. When you're ready, inhale, raise your back up as high as possible. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. So now it's going to hold the posture, inhale and hold. Try to raise it as high as possible. Try to bring the thighs at 90 degrees. The thighs parallel to the floor. Stay there as long as comfortable. If you want more uh, flexibility, you can take your hands behind your low back to support for more stretch. Exhale slowly. Bring you back down, release your legs, and relax in Shavasana for a few minutes. The counter posture, it is with the Navasana, the board posture. Again, we can get into the posture and with inhalation and exhalation for a few practices. And then finally, we'll hold the pause. Bring your hands by the side of your, either side of your body, palms on the floor. When you're ready, inhale, raise the legs and upper body up at the same time. Exhale down. Inhale. Exhale down. Do it a few times and then finally we'll hold the pause. You're going to tighten your core muscles and use the core strength for this practice. With the next inhalation, let's hold the posture and stay in the balance.
stay at the post, stay in the posture. If you need balance, more balance, you can grab your legs with your hands. Exhale. Okay, let's do that one more time. And don't hold your breath in the final posture. You can keep breathing normally. Relax in Shavasana for a few moments. The next asana we will do is the Pavana Mukta asana. Inhale, raise the left leg up 90 degrees. With your hands, grab the left leg and pull towards your chest as close to as possible. And when you're ready, inhale, raise your head up. Head bring your chin, nose or forehead to the left knee. Raise the right knee, right leg. And make five circles with the right toes clockwise and five anti-clockwise. Okay, five rounds. Slowly bring your right leg down. Exhale, bring the head down, release the grip. Raise your left leg up 90 degrees and slowly bring it down. Repeat it on the right side. Inhale, raise the right leg up. With your hands, grab below the knee, pull towards the chest. Inhale, raise your head up, upper body up. Raise the left leg, make circles with your left toes. Five clockwise and five anti-clockwise. Slowly bring the left leg down. Exhale and bring the head down. Release the grip. Raise the right leg up and slowly bring it down. Let's do it both the legs together. Bring your feet together. Raise both the legs up. At the same time, bend at the knee. The hands grab below the knees and pull you towards your chest. Inhale and raise your head up. Make yourself into a small unit. And stay there. Feel your thighs pressing against your abdomen and chest. Slow inhalation and exhalation. In the final posture. Pavana Mukta Asana or will release posture. Exhale, bring the head down. Raise your hands. Raise the legs up 90 degrees. Slowly bend them down. Relax in Shavasana. Let's do one counter posture for this, the Matsyasana. Bring your feet together. Hands inside of the body, palms on the floor. Pressing your elbows firmly on the floor. Raise the upper body up, head up. Walk your elbows backwards. And when you're ready, take your head back. Try to rest the crown of your head on the floor. Make sure to hold the body weight on your elbows. Okay. 
Let's do this. When you're releasing the posture, don't rush out of it. Make sure to use your elbows, taking the body weight on your elbows, you should slowly come out. Again, pressing your elbows firmly on the floor. Slowly raise the upper body up. Slowly rest your back. And bring your head down. Separate the feet. Hands away from the body. And relax and show us. Feet away from each other. Hands away from the body. Palms facing up. Slowly rotate your head sideways to the left, to the right, and leave it in between wherever it is comfortable. Wiggle your body and lift. Make sure there are no tight spots anywhere. And relax. Let's do QRT, quick relaxation technique. Slowly bring your awareness to your toes. Slightly move your toes. By becoming aware mentally, we can help relax each part of the body. Relax your soles, heels, and ankles. Entire right foot and entire left foot completely relaxed. Relax the calf muscles, the knee joints, kneecaps. Relax your thighs, hamstrings. Relax the pelvic region. Relax the abdominal region. Relax the low back, hip joints. The entire low part of the body is completely relaxed. Sensitize your spine. Relax the middle part of the back. Bring the upper back on the floor. Relax the upper abdominal region. Take a few inhalation and exhalation. Deep inhalation and exhalation. And absorb the abdominal movement. Relax the chest in the rib cage. Feel your heartbeat. Relax the neck region, shoulder joints. Biceps, triceps, elbow joints, forearms, wrist joints, the palms, and all the fingers. Slightly move your fingers. And relax. Slowly bring your awareness to your throat. Chin, cheeks, have a gentle smile, 
relax the cheeks. Relax the tongue, teeth, gums. Relax your throat. Swell a little bit of saliva. Get more moist in the throat. Relax the nose, eyes, eyeballs, eye muscles. Relax the temples. Relax the back of your head on the floor. Relax the crown of your head. And relax the forehead. Slowly bring your awareness to your third eye position. Above the nose, in between your eyebrows. Mentally scan your whole body. A complete relaxation. Feel yourself completely relaxed. Slowly slide your hands on the floor. Take them all the way above your head. Give a nice linear stretch. Slowly turn towards the right side by bending your knees. Testing your head on the right hand. Keep turn on the body. Feel the entire right hand of the body touching the floor. Feel the shifting of body weight onto the right side. Feel the left hand is not up your hand. And using support of your hands, slowly come up to a sitting position. Sit in any comfortable position. Vajrasana, Sukhasana, Thunderbolt or Easy Pose, cross leg position. Feel the calmness of your mind. Take a few deep inhalation and exhalations. Enhance the calmness. Let's end our session with one round of Omkar followed by the closing prayer. Bring your palms together at the heart center. Take a deep inhalation, inhale. Closing prayer, Shanti Mantra, Peace Prayer. Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinaha Sarve Santu Niramayaha Sarve Badrani Pashyantu Vakas Chetukha Bhagbhavi Om Shant Shant Shanti May all be peaceful, may all be healthy, let there be no suffering, let there be auspiciousness. Peace, peace, peace. Release your hands, take your hands behind you. Holding the right fist with the left hand, make a gentle fist with the right hand. As you inhale, take your head backwards. And as you exhale, slowly bend forward. Bring your forehead to the floor. Thanking the great divine, thanking the yoga master. Inhale, slowly come up. Release your hands. Rub your palms, make them nice and warm. Cup your eyes, transfer the warmth. 
again, wrap your palms, do a gentle massage to the forehead, face, and neck. Put your palms in front of you, looking towards your palms, the few blinks, open your eyes. Namaste, and thank you.